tip number 53, great net classes, if your CAD system supports it. Many people, they create net classes only for the signals which need to follow some special rules, like probably the most common interface with net classes is a memory interface. Yeah. You create the data banks uh, net classes, you create the address command control signal net class and this kind of stuff. We also create net classes for all the other kind of interfaces. We create net classes for SD card interface, we create net classes for audio, for UART, I2C, SPI. Yeah, we create net classes even if we do not need special rules. Now, why we do it? What do you think? Why we do it? Because it's very helpful during the layout. I'm not sure uh, how exactly it works in the other CAD systems, but in Altium you can very nicely browse through the night classes. You can see them here and uh, you can select the pins, paths and tracks of particular net class in the PCB. So for example, if I would like to see the SPI3 interface, how it is routed and what pins belongs to this interface, I just click here and I can see it. Yeah? If I would like to see Audio3 interface, I click here, here they are. And this is useful during whole layout process. It is useful, for example, when you are doing placement. It is useful when you are planning layout because very easily you can highlight the interface and you can see what pins need to be connected together. Okay, you can use the, you can show the connections, you know, the, the, lines which connect, which show you what pins should be connected. But if you have very complicated PCB, normally I switch it off because it's it's mess. Yeah, there are so many connections that it's useless and browsing through the classes. It can help a lot to visualize what pins need to be connected together. We use it also uh, when we do fan out. For example, if you do fan out of uh, a BGA, you can very nicely select what pins belong to what interface and you can fan out these pins together because very often we route interfaces together. Yeah, you can see it here like this. This is a little bit special because there are some uh, resistors on the top and bottom, but you can see uh, when we fan out this uh, audio interface, it continues all the signals, they continue on the same layer. Yeah. Here, if I, if I select this interface, you can see all the signals, they are on same layer. And as I say, the, you can create the net classes and use them in special rules. Design rules. Here is example of uh, using net class for length matching rules of bank data bank zero. Yeah. And we also create the net classes because it's very simple to assign colors to particular class. Very nice example is uh, memory interface and uh, data banks. I'm going to show you. Yeah, this is processor. Here you can very nicely see the data banks. They all have different colors. And it's very easy to set up because you just select the class and right click and select the color for the particular class. This uh, thing, these uh, net classes, they are not essential. Yeah, some of the tips which we have, they are really, really important. This is not essential. You can live without it, but it can be very useful. So if you like, you can try it in your next design try to create next classes and see if it helps you. It helps us a lot. I use it a lot. Tip number 53, 
create net classes. Why? You can then very simply select elements, pins, tracks, polygons, which belong to a particular net class. It's very useful during layout and helps with assigning colors and creating rules for specific interfaces or groups.